Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and this is part three of my mushroom gnome tutorial. So if you are crocheting along with me today, we are going to be making the nose, the beard, and the basket. Let's jump into it. First off, I'm starting with the basket and I am using Red Heart Super Saver Latte Stripe, which is another four weight yarn, and my 3.5 millimeter hook and a stitch marker. So to begin our basket, we are going to make a magic circle. If you need a little help with a magic circle, I always have linked in the description box a slowed down version explaining how to do uh, the magic circle and you can just pop over there and come back when you have it done. But once you've got your magic circle, we are going to be placing six single crochets into the circle. And make sure that you work over the side of the circle and the tail at the same time, um, holding them together. And once you have your six single crochets, you can go ahead and pull gently on that magic circle tail. Don't cinch it up quite all the way yet because we want to get into that first single crochet on the other side first. Uh, and go ahead and place a single crochet into that stitch. And then you are free to tighten that up as much as you can and you can continue to tighten it if you need to as we go. So go ahead and put your stitch marker into that first stitch and then place another single crochet into that same stitch. The repeat for this round is just going to be to increase in every stitch around. So right now we have six single crochets and with increasing in each stitch, which means putting two single crochets in each stitch, we will have 12 single crochets at the end of the round. And as we hit the end, we are on the last stitch here, just throwing an increase into there. And then we're going to take our stitch marker out and put a single crochet into that first stitch. The repeat for round three is going to be single crochet increase. So all the way around, you're just going to single crochet in one stitch and then increase in the next stitch. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. And at the end of the round, for round three, you will have 18 stitches. And don't forget to replace your stitch marker so that you can easily keep track of where you are. Even if you're keeping count, it's always a good um, little safety net to have so that you don't have to just rely on you keeping count. Um, you can also have that stitch marker there to be like, hey, something's a little off <laughs> if you miscount. Um, or if you don't feel like counting, then the stitch marker is a great thing to have and you will end on an increased stitch. So if you do not count your way around, um, if you end on an increased stitch, then you know you're on the right path. So go ahead and single crochet and increase all the way around back to your stitch marker. And as we get to this last stitch, after you do your increase, you're actually going to uh, remove your stitch marker and chain one. And the reason that you're going to chain one is because we are going to go into double crochets. So uh, to get yourself up to height, you're going to go ahead and chain one. And we're going to double crochet in the back loop only all the way around. So that is that loop that's furthest from you. And don't forget to go ahead and pop that stitch marker back in there in the top of your double crochet. And when you get back around, remember that you do have that chain one and you're not going to put anything in that. That was just there to get to height. So that is not your, um, it's not a stitch. So here's kind of zoomed in so that you can see um, we're doing double crochets into the back loop only. And you're just going to do that all the way around until you get back to that last stitch before your stitch marker.
And as you make your way back around, I just wanted to remind you that there is this chain one that you're not gonna be working into because that is not a stitch. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop out that stitch marker and slip stitch into the first double crochet that we did. And after you have slip stitched, the next thing that we are going to do is weave in our tail if you would like to, if you haven't already, for our magic circle. And then we are going to chain two. And for this round, we're going to be double crocheting and front post only double crocheting. So this is how you do a front post only double crochet. You yarn over and then you go through the front around that um, post of the double crochet. And then you just work your double crochet as normal. So we're gonna be alternating between double crocheting and then front post double crocheting. And that is gonna be what we do all the way around back to our stitch marker. So go ahead and continue that. And if you need to rewind and see that slow-mo where I showed you how to do the front post only double crochet again, go ahead and feel free to do that and then I will meet you back when you get to your stitch marker. And once you make it back to your stitch marker, we are gonna go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch, and then we are going to chain one and single crochet into that same stitch. And then for the whole round, we are just going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. All right, and you should still have 18 stitches just like you have since uh, we did the single crochet increase round. Um, and now you're just gonna go ahead and slip stitch that first stitch and we are gonna make the handle to our basket. And it is super, super easy. Uh, all you're gonna do is chain however long you would like your handle to be. So I did like 15 or 16 chains so, and you can do however many you want. Like you could make it super long, you could make it super short. Um, it's totally up to your preference, but 15 or 16 um, chains should be a good length for a basket handle. And once you've got your chaining done, you can go ahead and just slip stitch into the other side to connect it. And the way that I did that was I kind of just sandwiched my basket together so that I could see exactly where like the other side's equivalent of where I am was. And then I just slip stitched into that si stitch that was exactly halfway across. And after slip stitching, uh, you can either go ahead and tie off, or if you like to, you can chain one. I went ahead and chained one just because I like the little knot that it makes um, when I pull my yarn up. And then you can go ahead and fasten off, and then you can weave in your tail. And that's it. That is a super, super quick and simple little basket. Um, and you are all done with it. So we can move on to the next part. So the next thing that I'm going to show you how to make is our gnome's little beard. I am using Big Twist Value yarn in the shade of Camel. And we are going to go ahead and start out with a magic circle. So once again, if you need to go and watch that little tutorial um, that slows it down for you to get a little bit of help, you are welcome to do that. You're also welcome to do the um, chaining and slip stitching beginning if that's something that you prefer to do, if you're more comfortable with that. Um, but either way, once you have your magic circle or your magic circle equivalent, you're going to go ahead and put six single crochets into your magic circle. And once you have your six single crochets, we are going to go ahead and grab on that magic circle tail and pull it most of the way closed, but not quite cinched all the way shut so that we can still get our hook into the first stitch on the other side and go ahead and make a single crochet. 
And then you are free to tighten up your magic circle now and at any point going forward if you feel like you need to tighten it more. And go ahead and pop a stitch marker into that first stitch. And now that you have that, we're going to go ahead and place one more single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to place an increase. And we're going to repeat that one more time. We're going to do um, another single crochet and then one more single crochet and then another increase. And that will take us back to our stitch marker. And just a reminder when you're working on this that you want that magic circle tail to be the inside of your work. That side that it's on is going to be the inside um, of your stitches. So as the work starts to cup, try to guide it to cup that way so that you don't have to worry about flipping it right side out. And now for round three, we are going to be single crocheting three times and then doing an increase. And currently you should have eight stitches and at the end of this round you will have 10. So go ahead and pop a second single crochet into your round and then in the next stitch go ahead and single crochet again. And then it's time to do an increase. So go ahead and put two single crochets into that next stitch. And then you're just going to do the same thing again, three single crochets and then an increase. And that will put you at the end of round three and back at your stitch marker. And at the end of this round, we will have 10 stitches. And moving on to round four, we are going to be single crocheting four this time and then doing an increase. So go ahead and pop that stitch marker out. Make sure your work is cupping up the way that you want it to, which is what I'm doing here. Magic circle tail on the inside side. <laughs> uh, go ahead and pop that stitch marker out and place a single crochet. And then replace your stitch marker if you're using one and do three more single crochets for a total of four. And then you'll be doing that increase. So single crochet four times and then do two single crochets in that fifth stitch. And then just repeat that same thing again. Four single crochets and an increase and that will put you back at your stitch marker and you will be ending that round on an increase. All right, and now that you've made it back to your stitch marker, we are gonna do another increase round, but we are actually gonna switch it up. So you did four single crochets and then an increase last round, and this time we're gonna do two single crochets and then an increase. So go ahead and put your first single crochet in there and put that stitch marker back. And then you can go ahead and place another single crochet in the next stitch, and then an increase. And that's going to be your repeat for the round. So single crochet, single crochet, increase. Single crochet, single crochet, increase. And we currently have 12 stitches. And at the end of this round, we are going to have 16 stitches. So we're starting to flare it out a little bit more dramatically now. All right, and ending that round, you are going to be ending on an increase and you are going to have 16 stitches. Into this next stitch, we are gonna go ahead and place a single crochet and then put our stitch marker back. And then we are going to be single crocheting two more times and then increasing because the repeat for this round is three single crochets and then an increase. So you're just gonna repeat single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase all the way around and that's going to take you from 16 stitches to 20 stitches at the end of this round and now that you have finished that round and have 20 stitches we are going to move on to round seven which is going to be single crocheting four and increasing and that's going to be the repeat for the round so you're going to single crochet four times in total and then do an increase and then you'll repeat that single crocheting four times and then increasing. And when you get back to your stitch marker, you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round and be ending on an increase.
And now that you have made it back to your stitch marker, you can go ahead and take that out and pop a single crochet into that first stitch. And we are actually going to be single crocheting all the way around this time. So you're actually just going to be doing 24 single crochets. No increases, no decreases, no turn left, take five steps to the right and jump over this fence. <laughs> and that's all you got to do. So do your 24 single crochets and meet me back at the stitch marker. Once you get back to your stitch marker, we are just going to be doing a little decrease round before we finish up our beard. So we're going to be doing four single crochets and then a decrease. And I do an invisible decrease, which I have shown in the other parts of the gnome tutorial. So you probably know how to do it already. But in case you don't, you grab that front loop of the first stitch and then the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over and pull through both and yarn over and pull through both. And that's how I do an invisible decrease, but you are welcome to do any type of decrease. If you feel more comfortable with a standard decrease, that is totally fine. It won't make a huge difference, but it looks a little bit nicer, in my opinion, to do the invisible decrease on amigurumi. So go ahead and single crochet four and decrease and repeat that so you get back to your stitch marker. And to finish off our beard, you're going to want to fold your beard with the stitch that you're currently on at the corner and kind of sandwich it together. We are going to be single crocheting across the top through both layers. So you're going to go into that next stitch and through the, to the other side and through that stitch and you're going to single crochet. And you're just going to do that all the way down going through that first uh, top of your stitch and then through the other layers top of its stitch, just like this. You can get a good look here. And then you're just doing your regular single crochet. The only difference is that you're going through two layers instead of one. And this is gonna um, close our beard off and make it a nice solid piece. And that is all you have to do for your beard. So once you are all done single crocheting across, if you would like to, you can chain one and then leave yourself a nice little length of yarn for sewing to attach the beard to the gnome later. And then you can pull up on your hook and pull that yarn out. So you know that I like to do a chain one um, most of the time so that I can get that nice little knot. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain one there and get my nice length of yarn, chop, chop, and then I'm going to pull up on my hook. And boom, we have finished our little gnome beard. So super cute. And if you are, if you are wanting to do a um, like free flowing, like strands of yarn beard, when we go to assembly, I will let you know how to do that. And for the final make of this part of the tutorial, we are going to be making our gnome nose. So I'm just using Big Twist Value Yarn White for this. And same as always um, for the rest of the tutorial, it is a four weight yarn and I'm using my 3.5 millimeter hook. So we're going to start out with our trusty old magic circle here. And once you've got your magic circle, we are going to place six single crochets into our magic circle. If you can't tell, six single crochets in the magic circle is my favorite. <laughs> Pretty much works for everything. So go ahead and single crochet over both the side of your circle and over that tail, like always with a magic circle, and do your six single crochets. And then you can go ahead and pull on that magic circle tail, leaving it not quite all the way shut, and then you can get that hook nice and easy into the first stitch of the round. And you're just gonna be placing a single crochet and then you can replace your stitch marker or place it for the first time, I guess, for this part of the project. And you can tighten up that magic circle the rest of the way. So this round is going to be a single crochet and then an increase. And that is gonna be the repeat for the round. So you've got your single crochet already. And now this stitch is gonna have two single crochets in it because it is an increase. And believe it or not, this is going to be the widest that your gnome get or your uh, nose gets. 
um, the nose is really small. So after you finish that last stitch, which is an increase, we are going to be doing a single crochet round for this next round and the round after. So you can go ahead and pop out that stitch marker and put a single crochet in there. And then you're just going to single crochet in every stitch around and you have nine stitches. So you will have nine stitches at the end of the single crochet round and you'll have nine stitches at the end of the next single crochet round. So go ahead and do two rounds of just single crochets and then meet me back. All right, and now that you have done your two rounds of single crochets, you can go ahead and remove that stitch marker. And we are just going to chain one to finish off our nose here. And then cut yourself a nice length of tail for sewing your nose on later. And you can pull up on your hook and you have finished your nose. So the nose is so tiny that there's really no need to actually stuff stuff it with like polyfill. But the perfect stuffing for it is your magic circle tail. So I just kind of squished the magic circle tail into there. And that will be our nice built-in stuffing. <laughs> and here's kind of what it's going to look like if you wanted to see with the beard. And just some little ideas of things to put in your basket if you would like to put uh, crocheted items in it. You can just kind of play around with stitches and um, make like little, you know, magic circles with maybe four stitches in it. And then try single crocheting around for a few rounds and then increasing, which is what I did with this blue one. Or this white one is actually just the nose. But if you did it in red and maybe put some little spots on it or any color really and put some little spots on it, you could kind of have little mushrooms in here. Or you can leave it empty or put little trinkets that you have around the house, maybe little pine cones or crystals or something. But regardless, this is what we have made today. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it was easy to understand and that you had fun following along and that you are excited to put our gnome together in the next tutorial. So I will be back with the next video and we will be assembling our mushroom gnome. Ah, super excited. Thank you so much for being here and for following along to this point. If you haven't already, which I'm assuming you have probably by now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you around and I would love to see your gnome when you are finished with it. If you want to tag me on Instagram or send it to me in my email, which is in the description box. And I will see you on the next one. Stay gnomey.